So, Trump just debunked all the negative military rumors. In America, tell all my relatives I'm in my element, acting brand new in my story, developing storms of ruin, and I am the weatherman. I'm in the building, I'm riding this elephant in the room. Know that you like me, cause I'm a cute talker, then probably 90% of you. And I do music that patriots listen to, and I shoot down all the lies that they give to you. But first, but first, I need you to detonate that subscribe button. I'm talking about detonate that subscribe button. I'm the Marine Rapper. I do news, military, music, and politic reactions every single day. So you want to keep it locked. You want to keep it locked. Now to this reaction. So in this video, you're going to see Trump debunk all the lies from Charlottesville to the military uh, comments he supposedly said. He's gonna go into that, he's gonna go into that. So let me just shrink myself down, honey, I shrunk the kids. And let's watch this video and I'll let you know what I think about it. Leading, we're leading with all of the lies and all of the everything. I watched last night, it was so sad when I looked at the lies talking about Charlottesville. Charlottesville is totally debunked, you know that. But when you talk about they all- They have it. Charlottesville no, no, has no. it. Biden said he ran because of Charlottesville. First of all, he doesn't know what Charlottesville is. Guy doesn't know where he is. But uh, he didn't run because of Charlottesville, just an excuse. But the whole Charlottesville story was totally debunked. All of the things they said were debunked. The soldiers in France with the graves. That I, I love our soldiers. Yeah, so the Charlottesville thing that Trump is talking about, he's talking about the whole KKK torches and all that. It's crazy that somebody like Biden was talk about somebody being racist when you have Biden co-signing a former KKK member. Not a grand wizard like somebody reported in the news. That's not true. But Biden did co-sign a former KKK member. So is there is there a statute of limitations on things? So it, I, I want to know what's going on because you can't be like, Oh, homeboy was a KKK member back in the day, and he's cool now that he's in government. Robert Byrd, who's, who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Robert Byrd. Oh, he's cool now because he like changed his ways and joined a Baptist church, and like he has like five black friends. No, 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 no. I'm saying, is he cool now? Because if Robert Byrd, well, Robert Byrd is gone, he's dead. But if Robert Byrd can turn a new leaf and is doing different stuff, does that mean everybody can? And if it means everybody can, and that means like whatever they did previous to the point of now, that means it should be forgiven, right? Just be consistent. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, first lie debunk, Charlottesville. Let's go back. And now we're going to get into the military stuff. But the whole Charlottesville story is totally debunked. All of the things they said were debunked. The soldiers in France with the graves. That I, I love our soldiers. That was a made up story by a man. And you saw what John Kelly said in response to your response to your comments about the Congressional Medal. John Kelly, I fired it. So he's talking about the whole situation where there's the Congressional uh, Medal, there's a Medal of Freedom, and then the Medal of Honor, and there was a back and forth. Uh, there, people are mad because, you know, when Trump congratulated one of the recipients of the Medal of Freedom, he compared it to getting the Medal of Honor, which a lot of people need to understand the in the context that he was saying it in. So you could be mad. Don't get it twisted. You could be mad if you want. But he wasn't saying it in a disrespectful way. So but now she's going into the fact that John Kelly had beef with him. And because he had beef with Trump, he's saying all these things. Yeah. And John Kelly has an axe to grind and he made up a story. Nobody would say what he said. I would be the last person who said, he's a liar. He's been a proven liar. He's lied on other occasions. I fired John Kelly. You know, it's interesting. When you fire people and you don't respect people, after I got to know him, I realized he wasn't the right guy. I fired him. See, Biden never fired anybody, ever. Because, I mean, why didn't he fire people after Afghanistan? That disaster. He should have fired his whole top. Don't even get me started on Afghanistan. I am so upset. I am so turned on the Afghanistan thing. Everybody should have been fired. If you weren't in charge of it, if you wasn't watching it, who made the call to pull out and why'd y'all pull out like that? And the, whoever made all those calls and made everything happen and operated in that way, they need to be fired because now it's the third anniversary of the pullout and you have the Afghan, the, um, you have all those individuals over there who took over 
and they're taking over and parading in our vehicles, in our aircrafts with the new paint, with the new words on the side. After 13 of our troops got killed, after when the troops came in, Biden was like this. When is it time for double chocolate chocolate chip? When is it time for my nap? When is it time to go back to Delaware? Biden didn't show any care or any respect towards those veterans who came back. But you're saying that Trump said it, troops are suckers and losers or whatever. Let me tell you something. I have been called so many names in my life in so many different capacities, especially in the military. Sucker and loser is the lowest of blow on the totem pole. No military person is getting their feelings hurt if somebody calls them a sucker. If somebody goes, hey, you sucker, hey, you loser, hey, you maggot. That's that's my name, basically. And basically, that's your name in basic training. No one cares. But you're saying Trump said all that. For one, he said he didn't say that. He's saying he loves the troops. But I'm talking about actions speak louder than words because the action that Biden did was like this. What time is ice cream time? It's beach time. It's Delaware time. It's conga line. The military for that, the most embarrassing moment of this country's history. Fact. With a John Kelly, I don't. I didn't respect him. Once I lost my respect for him because I saw that he couldn't do the job, I fired him. And when you fire people, they tend to say negative things. Who would say a thing like that? Nobody would say a thing like that. You're saying what he said, you said. Of course, he made this story up, or he actually didn't. It was made up by a magazine that's a very liberal magazine. And I like how he stopped and said, hey, wait, he actually didn't make up the story. He just ran with it. He was just the mouthpiece. I like how he clarifies it. I love it. Then he was the one person that confirmed. You know, we have 26 people that dispute that story, but nobody wants to write about that. We have 26. I have one last question about RFK. So you had said, you said that you would continue. Yeah, so that's the debunk thing. So I just, they're reaching, yo. They are reaching. They are reaching. I looked it up. I looked at Snopes. It's, and when I checked Snopes, it said it didn't exist. It says that it's hearsay. It says that there's nothing in France that happened that's solid. There's no video, there's no audio, there's nothing that says that Trump said that. The suckers and losers, that's not true, according to Snopes. Um, and then you hear Trump saying, there's 26 people that can validate my claim, but they keep running with it. So why is people keep lying on me? That's what Trump is saying. You, all these people keep lying on me, whether it's Charlottesville or whether it's the military stuff, y'all need to chill. Because at the end of the day, actions speak louder than words. And the action was this. And all the other stuff is just hearsay. Oh, I heard, I heard Trump said this, I heard Trump did that. Come on, come on. It makes no sense. And then he was out there, he, he was out there in, um, where is it, Howell, Michigan. He was in Howell, Michigan. And he was like, yo, who was, who was president when all that racist KKK, white supremacist stuff was happening? That's what he asked the reporter. And what the reporter say? Biden, he says, uh -huh, thank you, I gotta go. Peace, mic drop, mic drop moment. Boop. Don't get it twisted. If Trump said something, let's put it on him. If he didn't say it, let's not put him on him. For real. Just saying. And with that, if you have not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to me, The Murray Rapper. I do news, military music, and political content every single day. So you want to keep it locked. Yeah, you want to keep it locked. And you want to hit me with that like. You also want to comment down there. Comment with your concerns, your congratulations, gripes, complaints, whatever. Whatever makes your heart content. And uh, without any further ado, I bid adieu to you.